Lane. 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 Yo, 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 it is the Mr. Lane Show, a.k.a. Lane Vision, and we are back with another app build video. So, first thing we're going to do, we're just going to jump right into it. So, we're going to open up Xcode. Um, so, what we're going to make today is we are going to make a video, um, or we're going to make an app, I should say, based on how to uh, play sound, okay? So, we are going to create a new Xcode project and single view app we're gonna call this uh we'll just call it music or no let's call it sound app i mean you can call it whatever you want to be perfectly honest but it's just a generic sound app and you're gonna save it to your document folder in your folder create and we're gonna drop down your project Okay, so what we're going to do, and now we're just going to do this, we're not going to really focus on too much of the design. Um, you know, you can kind of design the way it looks uh, when we're done here. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pull out a single button. We're just going to start with one button, okay? And then you are going to download sounds um, from the Schoology page. I have them already in my download folder, so I am just going to take a punch and I'm just going to throw it in here and we are going to copy items and we're going to create folder references um, and add the target so all those needs to stay the same. So here's your sound, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to first name the button and make it look something. So we're just going to give it a quick background color um, we are going to name it the button, and since it's called Punch, we're going to just call it Punch 1. Uh, let's change the font color to work better against the secondary system background color, system background color, and it works anyway. Make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. Now, like I said, you can design this any way you want. This is just a real basic, let's just get boots on the ground here and get it going. Um, so now we gotta open up the dual screen so we can connect the button um, to the code. So remember, we click, so we just click somewhere on the gray space. We go over here, click view controller. We come on this side and it should bring back your phone, but if it doesn't, you're gonna click main storyboard. Um, you can close that down. Okay, so here we go. Now I am going to also close this so we have more screen to work with. You can also move this side to side and it all depends, you know, how you want to set your screen space up. All right, just don't forget if you need something over here, you got to pull this back out. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the button. And if you remember how to click and control drag from the Dice app video, you're going to hold control down and we are going to place the button down here and it's going to be an action because it is going to actually do something and we are just going to say um, sound button one let's make sure we camel case it sound button one press okay leave the touch up inside hit connect okay so um, Whatever we do with the button, when we press it, it's going to work. So let's just test it. Let's just test the button. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple print and say, um, I was pressed. Okay. And we just want it, and all we're doing is testing it just to make sure that the button works. So we're going to run our app build. And then what we want to do is we want to click this button right up here, which is going to show the debug area. And once the simulator loads and it pressed. So let's give it a second here. All right, and when we press it, it says I was pressed. So it does work. It does show that we do have functionality um, from our button and then it printed I was pressed, okay? So we're gonna close the simulator and we're gonna get rid of the print statement. Okay, so this is where you're going to say, well, what is the know-all end-all of making a sound? Well, 
unfortunately guys there is no just right and wrong answer so what we're going to do is we're going to look up stuff what we're going to do is we're going to type in what we want to do okay play sound then we're going to type the language swift and then we are going to go to stack overflow okay so in a perfect world we are saying what we want to do with what language and where we want to find the answers and remember stack overflow is where you find all the answers all the time everywhere so boom october 28 2017 it's a little old but we can kind of go in there and see so how to play a sound using swift so we're going to click that open and we're going to notice here that this was um you know, it looks like a Swift 1.0. It's definitely an older code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of look through this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the latest version, okay? So Swift 4 being iOS 13 compatible is exactly, exactly what we want. And as, um, you know, and as being in becoming a coder, um, what we're going to do is we are going to um, take pieces of this and put it into our project here. So first thing that we're going to have to do is it's asking us to import AV Foundation. So we can just come on right over here. We can type in, uh, let's make another space. We're going to do import AV Foundation. Both. Okay, then we're going to come back over here and we are now going to make a variable. Okay, so we're going to set that up inside the class. So we're going to give us a little space here. All right, so var player audio. So we're creating a variable called player and it is going to be an AV audio player. We have to import this for this to work. Okay. Now, the rest of this is going to be a function, okay? So we want to make sure that we grab all the right things. So notice that all of the um, uh, brackets need to be collected. So we have bracket, 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 and then bracket. So the whole thing, we're going to copy, okay? And we can kind of place this anywhere outside of the bracket. We can place it below it. We can place it above it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place it down here. So what we've just done is we've just kind of cannibalized a little bit of code um, to see if we can figure out how to get this to work. So right now it's just a single function and inside the function it is going to play um, a sound and right now it is set to play sound name with an extension of mp3. Um, and so, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you're going to see here that you probably have no idea what any of this means, okay? Um, so we're gonna first off delete this because this is just saying iOS 10 and earlier, which we're already well past. Um, this following line is required for the player to work in iOS 11, so we're gonna get rid of that. So we're just gonna keep all that right now. And what we are going to do is now we are going to search for the right name and if we look over here we notice that what we're actually wanting to play is punch one dot wave so here where it says sound name this is actually going to be punch one so the name here has to match the name here and with the extension notice that it is not an mp3 file it is a wave file and there are different sound files that you use uh, throughout your courses okay so we have the dot wave, all right? So right now, okay, we have a function that should play. Now there might be a couple other issues and we're gonna have to kind of go back and look at it and kind of mess with it. But this is like kind of a good attempt, okay? So you've taken something, you knew where to put it, but we still have to play sound. So in here, we are gonna call up play sound, which is now a function. And what should happen um, when we test it is when we run our app what it should do is it should play the sound or start changing some other things to see if we can get it to work so let's pop it up let's make sure the sound is on and look at that so now we've just created a part of your sound app 
Excellent. Okay, so that's part one.